Hey everyone, this is group 7 from Division A. This is going to be a short presentation on virtual memory, new era, new technology for the computer organization and architecture subject. Here comes our team. Roll number 36, Aniket Pala. Roll number 37, Anish Nafade. Roll number 38, Anish Desai. Roll number 39, myself, Anjali Vakure. Roll number 40, Anish. Roll number 41, Atharva and Singapore. Here's the index. Sixth, future of virtual memory. So let's come to the introduction part of virtual memory. Virtual memory is a computer memory management technique that allows the computer to use more memory than it's physically, physically as available. It works by temporarily transferring pages of data from computer's random access memory, that is RAM, to the storage device such as hard disks. When RAM becomes full, it frees up space in RAM for other processors and applications to use. When program or application requests data from memory, the operating system checks whether the data is stored in RAM. If the data is not stored in RAM, the operating system retrieves it from storage device where it is stored and places it in a vacant portion of RAM. The operating system then updates the page table to indicate the new location of the data in the memory. Virtual memory allows multiple program and applications to run simultaneously without interfering with each other's memory space. It also enables a computer to handle larger applications and data sets than it would otherwise be able to do. However, virtual memory also has some disadvantages. Uh, retrieving data from storage device is much lower than accessing data directly from RAM, which can slow down computer performance. Additionally, if the computer runs out of available space on its storage device, it may not be able to allocate more virtual memory, which can cause program and application to crash. The concept of virtual memory was first introduced in early 1960s when computer systems were limited by amount of physical memory available. With the advancement in the technology, virtual memory has become an essential part of modern computing systems. Next slide would be explained by my teammate Aniket. This is Aniket and my role number is 36. I will explain how virtual memory works. So, virtual memory is actually a technique or a concept used by operating systems to allow a process to access more memory than is physically available in the computer's RAM. For example, when a program is executed, its code and its data are loaded into the physical memory, which is limited in size. If the program requires more memory than is available, the operating system creates a virtual memory by temporarily transferring some of the data from physical memory to a special area on the hard disk called the swap file. This frees up physical memory to be used by other processes. So when the CPU needs to access data, which is not currently stored in the RAM, it sends a request to the operating system. The operating system then checks if the data is available in the virtual memory or not. If it is not, then the operating system moves some of the less frequently used data from RAM to the hard disk, freeing up space in RAM for the new data. So this process is called paging and it allows the computer to run programs that require more memory than is physically available, as I explained before. Also, when the CPU needs to access the data that was moved to the hard disk, it is swapped back into the RAM. The CPU can access it as normal. So basically virtual memory is acting kind of like a storage for the extra memory which isn't available and is needed. Virtual memory is op managed by the operating system which divides the virtual memory space into pages. And uh, basically that's the core concept. This uh, reduces the amount of physical memory required and improves system performance overall. My name is Anish Nafade, role number 37 and I'll be explaining about the advantages of virtual memory. Advantages of virtual memory 
increase system performance. Virtual memory allows a computer to access more memory than physically installed, which means that the system can run more applications and processes simultaneously without running out of memory. Cost effective. Virtual memory allows computers to operate with less physical memory, which reduces the cost of memory hardware. Improved multitasking. Virtual memory enables the computer to run more multiple programs and processes simultaneously without running out of memory. Better use of available resources. Virtual memory enables the operating system to use available memory more efficiently by dividing it into smaller chunks and loading only the necessary parts into physical memory. Simplified memory management. Virtual memory simplifies memory management by allowing the operating system to manage both physical and virtual memory as a single entity. Larger programs. Virtual memory allows larger programs to be run on a computer than the physical memory available which is particularly useful for scientific and engineering applications that require large amounts of money. Hello everyone, my name is Atharvan Sinkar. My roll number is 41 and I am going to tell you about some disadvantages of virtual memory. First is slower performance. When the operating system uses virtual memory, it has to constantly swap data between the RAM and the hard disk, which can result in slower performance. Second is fragmentation. As virtual memory is used, files can become fragmented on the hard disk, leading to decreased performance and increased wear and tear on the disk. Third is limited hard disk space. Using virtual memory requires a portion of the hard disk to be reserved for paging files, which can limit the amount of available storage space. Fourth is increased risk of data loss. If the hard disk fails or become corrupted, Data stored in the virtual memory can be lost or corrupted. Then the fifth is security risks. Virtual memory can potentially expose sensitive data to unauthorized access or theft in the paging files are not properly secured. Then the last one is system instability. If there is not enough physical memory to support the demands of the operating system and applications, the system may become unstable or crash. Thank you. My name is Anish Desai, role number 38. I will be explaining what is virtual memory management. Memory management is an essential technique used by modern operating systems to provide applications with more memory than is physically available in a system's RAM. It does this by creating an illusion of an infinite amount of memory to applications. This technique is achieved by dividing the memory space into pages, which are fixed size blocks of a memory. Operating system maintains a page table that maps the virtual addresses used by the application to physical addresses in memory. When an application attempts to access a memory location, the virtual memory management system checks if the page containing that address is present in the RAM or not. If it is not, the system retrieves the page from the hard disk and swaps out a page from the RAM to make space for the new page. This process of swapping pages in and out of the RAM is called paging. Virtual memory management system uses several techniques to optimize memory usage. One such technique is demand paging, which only brings pages into memory when they are needed. This reduces the amount of memory used by the operating system and allows applications to run more efficiently. The technique is page sharing, which allows multiple processes to share the same physical page. This can significantly reduce the memory footprint of the system and improve the performance of applications. My name is Anshare, role number 40. I'll be explaining about future of virtual memory. Virtual memory is a technology that enables a computer to use more memory than is physically available by improperly transferring data from RAM to a storage device, typically a hard drive or solid state drive. As computer applications continue to become more resource intensive, the need for virtual memory is likely to persist in the foreseeable future. In the coming years, the future of virtual memory is likely to involve improvements in performance, reliability, and efficiency. Some possible developments in virtual memory technology include smarter memory management. That one potential area of improvement for virtual memory is in the algorithms that govern how memory is managed. Second is more efficient storage. Another possible improvement in virtual memory could come from advances in storage technology, as solid state drives and another high-speed storage devices become more common. 
थर्ड इज ग्रेटर इंटीग्रेशन विद क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग एज क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग कंटिन्यूज टू गेन पॉपुलरिटी वर्चुअल मेमोरी में बिकम मोर इंटीग्रेटेड विद क्लाउड बेस्ड स्टोरेज सोल्यूशन दिस कुड एनेबल फास्टर डाटा ट्रांसफर्स एंड मोर सीमलेस इंटीग्रेशन बिटवीन लोकल एंड क्लाउड बेस्ड स्टोरेज फोर्थ इज ग्रेटर सिक्योरिटी एज साइबरिटी साइबर साइबर थ्रेट इज कंटिन्यू टू इवॉल्व वर्चुअल मेमोरी में ऑल्सो नीड टू बिकम मोर सिक्योर दिस कुड इन्वॉल्व इम्प्रूव इंक्रिप्शन एलगोरिदम्स एज वेल एज न्यू सिक्योरिटी फीचर्स दैट प्रोटेक्ट अगेंस्ट अटैक्स ऑन वर्चुअल मेमोरी सिस्टम Thank you so much everyone for listening to us.